spent my days wandering down the road, yeah. Left my woman standing in the doorway. Hey there guys, today we're gonna introduce a muzzle to a dog and we're gonna get this particular dog totally loving this muzzle. Now, my name is Megan Carnes. I'm the founder and head trainer at the Color Scholar Dog Training, and this is my guy, Sparrow. He's hanging out for a little bit of help with reactivity. And when he first came to us, he absolutely hated this muzzle. I think he probably had a bad experience with it in, in a past life before he came to me. And when I brought it out, if I so much as had it laying on the ground by him, he'd run to the other side of his dog bed and he would go into total avoidance. And he wouldn't take treats for a good hour to an hour and a half. I swear he was saying, you know, I'm being set up here and I don't like it. So it's gonna take a little bit for us to get him comfortable wearing the muzzle, but this is a really important skill for him to have. And so it's my goal here to make him love this muzzle, to make him really comfortable wearing it, and to make it to where there's no conflict about it whatsoever. Now here I've got a Baskerville brand muzzle. I like these muzzles because dogs can open their mouth and pant, but I don't totally love them. They're not my favorite because dogs can absolutely bite through the end of them. So if you've got a really dangerous dog, this might not be the best muzzle for you. Now what I've done here is I've taken kind of the straps of the muzzle and I'm kind of holding them to where they're not flopping around or in the dog's face as I start the process of introducing this muzzle. And then the only other things that I need for this exercise is I need a clicker, which I'm gonna use to kind of mark the exact moment that he gives me what I want, and his favorite treat. And his favorite treat happens to be oven browned turkey, which I've cut up into cubes. I get this at Costco, it's super awesome in the refrigerated section if you go there, um, but I cut it up into little cubes. He thinks that it is amazing. Now, what we're gonna do initially is we're gonna kind of cheat. And I have no problem with cheating, especially with a dog like Sparrow, who is a big, bit of a chicken and has a negative association with the muzzle already. I'm gonna cheat by taking a piece of his favorite food and putting it in my flat hand and then resting the muzzle on top to where the food is inside of it. So if you can see that, the food is just sitting inside of that muzzle. And then all I'm gonna do is show it to him and I'm gonna let him eat the food out of the inside of the muzzle. And as soon as he sticks his face in, I'm gonna click this clicker. So there, I'm just letting him eat the turkey out of the end of the muzzle. And then I'm gonna reload. So again, I'm gonna put that turkey in my flat hand, stick it through the end of the muzzle, let him stick his face in, and reward him when he does. Now, my next step, and usually I'll do this step several times, but we've spent a lot of time on this already. So now he's ready for the next step. And on the next step, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, again, take that treat, stick it in my flat hand, but instead of sticking it through the end of the muzzle, I'm gonna let the muzzle just kind of hover on top to where when I present this to him, he can see the treat, but he can't actually access it. Then, as soon as he sticks his face in, I'm gonna click, and then remove the muzzle to reward him. So it looks like this. He sticks his face in, tries to access the treat. I click and then remove the muzzle and give him the piece of turkey. So again, I've got a piece of turkey in my flat hand. This muzzle is gonna hover on top just like this so he can see the treat but not access it. I'm gonna present it, let him stick his face all the way in, click when he does, and then give him the treat. Again, I'm gonna do that several times. He's passed this step already. I'm gonna do it several times. My goal is always that the dog pushes their head into the muzzle, not that I push the muzzle towards them. Because although he loves the muzzle now, it can be really uncomfortable for our dogs if we're shoving things into their face. I want them to make the choice to stick their face in the muzzle on their own. So I'm gonna repeat that several times with the muzzle kind of hovering over the treat to where my dog can see it, but they can't access it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start covering that treat with my hands. So I'm gonna rest the muzzle in my hand like this, and I'm gonna cover the treat with my fingers. So I'm gonna wrap those fingers around the treat like this. I'm gonna rest this muzzle just like that, and I'm gonna show it to him. Now here, he can't see the treat that's inside anymore. I'm covering it with my fingers, but the treat is still there. As soon as he shoves his face in, I'm gonna click, remove the muzzle, and reward. One more time. I'm just wrapping that treat up in my fingers so it's still there, but he can't see it. 
supporting the muzzle just like this, showing it to him, and clicking once he sticks his face in. Now after several repetitions of that, then what I can do is I can just fake him out. So he thinks the treat is in my hand the entire time. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach into my bag, I'm gonna act like I'm getting a treat, but I'm not actually gonna get one. And then I'm gonna rest this in my flat hand. There's no treat there, but he thinks there is. I'm gonna show it to him, he sticks his face in. I can click, reach into my bag, and give him a piece of turkey. So here, all we're doing is introducing the muzzle to him, getting him comfortable sticking his face in there. I'm not putting the muzzle on him at this stage. I'm just introducing it to him to where he loves to put his face in there. Eventually, I'll ask for duration, and eventually I'll secure these straps over his head. But here, I wanna spend a lot of time in this phase to where I can get him to a point where he sees this muzzle and he actually gets excited. Good boy. Good boy. 